So let's imagine, um, let's do the standard stuff. Let's see if we can make a creature. So we're, we haven't written anything in creature land. Let's go to creature land. Is everyone there with me? I use the term creature land because that is going to contain our what method. The main, it's where the class, the program starts and ends in creature land. So I'm going to make a main method with my little shortcut. Now because creature land is in the same package as creature and size donut, I can use these objects without importing them which is handy. And so in creature land, I just want to make sure we can see our creature donut and our size donuts. So what would I do to make a creature? I'm going to start by creating the pointer, the handle to creature. That means it's going to be... Yes, I heard it from the back again. And what type? If I want to make an instance of my creature. What, what type of creature do we want? Penguin. I was hoping you were going to choose a square creature. A square well, something I could draw easily. Potipus. A penguin. You, you draw. Who draws? Tyler. You're not doing anything. Do you want to draw a penguin? Lexi, come ping. You've got 30 seconds though. Okay. It's got to be super fast. And you're on television. Okay, so the penguin uh, is... Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Penguin happening. Penguins aren't supposed to be green trigger. Oh. You know what? You're lucky we're on camera. Is your red man? Tough crowd. Oh, really? Chris is going to be up next with the pen. We'll see what Lexi has to say about whatever you choose to draw. It looks as if it's wearing a tuxedo. Great. Thank you. So how did we make this creature? Let's make this creature. First thing we have to do before we make the object, we don't want to get caught with an object and no way to get to it. So again, every object has a what to go with it. A pointer or a handle variable. That handle variable isn't going to be type string. What's it's going to be the type? the type of object it points to. So it's going to be type what? Creature. creature, you got it. Chad's on a roll. So it's type creature and then it can be any name we want. So let's call this, um, we'll call it our penguin. We can be more interesting. Okay, so it's going to be our penguin creature. So let's do it. So the, remember, you, the, the structure is the same. So if I said string name, don't type this, equals uh, test name, Remember how the structure goes? Type, then the variable name, and then assign something to it. So in our case here with our creature, we're going to say creature, type creature, and then the name of this pointer variable is going to be penguin. And in that, actually let's do it systematically. So I just made my pointer. So we could say make a pointer variable. And then what do I, how do I store a, a, a creature in penguin? The, the magic new, is it going to be new penguin? New creature. New creature, and then it's a method call, so I need what? Parentheses, yeah. Now, in object-oriented one, we will do all sorts of fancy things when we make objects, but in this case, we're just saying, go to the blueprint, give me a blank object. That's all I want, a regular old object. Now what's the magic thing I should be able to do with my dot operator? Whoa. Remember this? We are accessing the penguin. So this was called penguin, it's creature. What's actually stored in here is a really long hexadecimal number that is hard for humans to remember. It would so look something like 0x91jab7421. We don't ever look at that number because it's not good for humans. That's why we call it penguin. It's easier for humans. Okay? So we have just, we are going through, we are using that handle variable to get to our little penguin. Now in the penguin's belly are what? Are there any fish in our, in our blueprint? 
Yeah, the member variables. Every penguin we make has a name of type string. So we can give it a name. So this penguin's name, what's a good penguin name? Pablo. Pablo. Excellent. Okay, so we just gave it a penguin name. And what else can we access? What species? An emperor penguin. See how we are accessing. In this case, are we reading or writing member variables? We are writing member variable values. Okay, so we've made our penguin. Now, here's the thing. In our penguin, what else do we need to set? We're going to feed this penguin a donut, a size donut. So we want to set what, first of all? If you do penguin dot, we want to say, okay, our nice little penguin, we have eat donut. What else do we have in penguin that we need to load up? Yeah, so bite size or get size limit. Um, so the idea here is we will tell this particular penguin the largest size donut that it will happily eat. So we can say set size limit. Everyone get to this point. This is super important. We are using the same structure, object dot what or what. So the structure is object dot and we can access two things with the dot. What are they? When we're doing object dot name or penguin dot name, what are we accessing? Member variables or methods? Name is our? Does it do anything or does it store something? Story. Yeah, name is a member variable so we can do object dot member variable or object dot is this a member variable? It's a method. So we can access anything on our object that is public using the dot operator. This particular penguin object dot go grab its set size limit and it's looking for what? This method has to have a what when you call it. An int. We're telling the method, we're telling the object, this is your maximum diameter donut that you will eat. So in other words, we can also access uh, methods. And let's say that the largest size donut this penguin will eat is uh, 40 millimeters. Okay? So penguin, and then we want to set its what? Set bite size in percent. So how much of a donut will a penguin be able to chomp off in one bite? Five percent. Penguins nibble like a cat. Good. So we've set up our uh, we've set up our first penguin. Okay. Now what's our next step? I want to be able to do this. This is where we want to go. I want to do penguin dot what? The goal here is to feed a donut to a penguin. So if I call penguin dot eat donut, what is this input looking for? It wants a what as an input? It wants not donut. We, have, we are advancing donut to be what? Creatures only know how to eat. What's our object called this time? Not just donut, but a size donut, meaning a donut that has a size n known to it. So we're stuck here. We can't call this, can we? If I do a shift F6 and try to run this puppy, what is it going to say? Run anyways. What's my compiler going to tell me? Uncompilable source code, erroneous tree type. What's, where did it hit? Creatureland.java. Ooh, that's really low. Look. That's where the, comp the compiler gets here and is like, ah, I can't call that method. It wants a donut, a size donut. I don't have a size donut. How do we make a size donut? We have to make one. So let's come here and let's build a donut to feed the penguin. So in this case, we used to say donut, uh, but in this case, we're making a sized donut. So that's the type of our pointer. We're making size donut and then... Um, how about donut for penguin? 
And we can do this all in one line now. I'll show you how we normally would do. Store in that a brand new what object? What's the only type of object I can make here? Size donut. A size donut. Because my pointer can only store references to a size donut. Okay, so let's keep this train moving. So on the other side, we are going here. So now we are making a size donut. So this has a handle or a pointer variable of what type? Have you, have you noticed I keep asking the same questions over and over again? The idea is we're trying to get these ideas in our head. Size donut, the name of that pointer was? Who's out there? Nick, what's the name of the pointer to our new size donut? Yes, exactly. This particular pointer will point to a particular donut. So, a uh, donut for penguin. Now, that's going to store some crazy reference in here that we don't care about. What's going to be on our donut? Let's look at our size donut blueprint. What's there it is. Size donut is very simple. What three things does it have? It has a? Name. Got a name. Donuts still have name of type? String. What other member variables does it have? Size and millimeters. And that's what type? Int. Size in millimeters. Yep, and our familiar percent remaining. Oop, but that's type int. So before we can feed the donut to the uh, penguin, we have to load it up. So let's do, here we go. We've got our donut. It's pointed to with the pointer. So now, how do we access our new donut? We have to use it. Yeah, it's handle variable called donut for penguin. I'm going to teach you the trick now. So notice how I did that. I typed the first couple letters and then it auto-completed. That's control space. Control space will search the available scope for available uh, identifiers to use. If you can't find it with control space, then the compiler doesn't know how to get to it. So donut for penguin dot, let's give it a name. It's kind of silly, but the name here, we'll call it, um, we'll feed Chloe again. Now, donut for penguin dot, how wide, what's the diameter of this donut? We're thinking um, this. What's the largest donut our penguin supposedly can eat? We set it to be what? 40. So let's assume that this penguin, we will let this penguin eat it. So let's make it 32 millimeters. So we can say size in millimeters equals 32. Cool. What else do we have on our donut? Okay, so we could eat this donut. Are we going to call simulate eating? Who's going to eat the donut? The penguin. So we're not going to call simulate eating in creature land. Guess who's going to call it? Who's going to eat the donut? The penguin. So this is cool. So yeah, Pablo is going to eat the penguin. Uh, the penguin is going to eat. Now what can we do here? What are we going to pass in to the penguin? We have to give it a reference to a size donut. Do we have one hanging out now? This is the big moment. He did it. He did it. Grant did it? Birthday boy did it? What did birthday boy do? Donut for penguin. Don't, yeah, we're giving <laughs> the, the penguin its own donut. Is it happy now? Look how happy the compiler is! No squiggles! I can't emphasize how important this is. We have made two new objects of our own devices and we are now giving them to one another. This is pretty advanced Java. This is not normally Java 1. But I just, like I said before, 
I would feel terrible if you didn't realize this is what people do in Java. Wow. We made this. This points to our donut. And this guy points to our penguin. Our penguin. And so we are sending, when we call, eat donut. The penguins eat donut method. We are giving it a reference to the actual donut object that it should eat. 